Back against the road, where was you when I was down and out? Never thought I'd be here. I'm just thinking God ain't never count me out. Yeah. Look at me, we laughing now. Yeah. How y'all niggas like me now? Yeah. What goes around, come back around. I kept it silent when them niggas tried to drag me down. Yeah. I don't know where I'm from. I got plenty of money, it ain't nothing red wrong. Yeah. You know, this is wrong and I know it. Shit, I'm still paying for it. This life had a bad form. I'm, I'm gonna go take these orders, baby, okay? Good. Huh? What, baby? Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> Love you. All right. Uh-uh. Yeah. Close the door. Right. Yeah. So, I'm on my way to go drop off these orders. And I want to get myself something to eat. And then I'm heading over to the house. Guys, so I'm on my way to go drop off these orders like I just said. Um, and I was watching, I had to get my heart together y'all cause I was just watching the um, documentary on Kendrick. You guys know, have you guys heard of the story of the guy who they found deceased um, in his high school gymnasium rolled up in a mat? And they said it was accidental. And the number one reason why I knew off the bat it wasn't accidental is because unless someone like literally, like in the school, let's just hypothetically say someone, like they would have to literally fall off the roof to their death for it to be accidental. Um, and no one else around obviously. But if you're in the gymnasium and you Put yourself in a predicament like going inside of a mat that's really um that's rolled up i used to cheer so i'm very familiar with um these type of mats obviously there's different mats at every different school but anyways any person that is not trying to die which obviously we know he wasn't would have been screaming for help if this had been an accident um point blank period it no one can uh, and obviously they already have the evidence that there were people in the gym at the same time that he was accidentally killing himself um y'all it it just broke my heart because every time i see stuff like this every time i go into look into stuff like this um all i can think about is for one those that poor well there's several things the first thing is that poor child who had to lose his life and no justice no justice behind it the second thing is those poor parents because as a mother i don't care if i had a million kids i could not imagine life without any one of my children so i can just imagine having to get the runaround and be told all of these fabricated things about your child's passing and then there's really nothing you can do and the third thing is just quite frankly me as a parent just just thinking of someone actually doing that to my child and I just wouldn't I don't know what I would do um, and I don't want to have to think about that who I don't want to have to think so um with that being said they just and the main reason why i want to go even look at it i saw a post come up i had me been meaning to watch the documentary for a while and i hadn't gotten around to it and then i just saw i can't remember if it was shade room or one of those um instagram sites that i follow and they pretty much were saying um they just finished the 50 million investigation and once again they're coming up with accidents so it just it just really broke my heart you guys so and i don't want to keep the, the the vibe down but let me know in the comments if you guys knew anything about this or did your research um i watched the documentary on um amazon prime so yeah excuse me so um what i was about to say so y'all so yesterday we had landscaping come 
to our house um and this is why it's so good to like build relationships and stuff because we had landscaping come and they gave us our estimate back we were like uh, well originally they told us that we would have to take down one of the trees in the backyard because it was going to be problematic because it's creating so much shade it was going to be pro problematic if we went ahead and got um the grass put in or whatever because the the grass would die within like six months to a year because it's like so much shade so I, I was we're back there looking and we're like looking at the neighbors um we're looking at the neighbors backyards that we can see um and I'm like, okay, well, no one else does have trees around. So, okay, I'm believing what they're saying. He was like, well, well, we'll email you the quote and later on today. I'm like, okay, cool. But he said that we needed to, he, he told me, he told us originally that he didn't, his company didn't remove trees, even on the website it says that they, they do. But in person, he was telling us like, oh, um, he was telling us, oh, what did he say? Oh, the tree is so big blah 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 crazy stuff so whatever so immediately we start looking up another company well i did because i y'all i'm the one who be looking for every little thing be doing my research like y'all already know how i am so i go on yelp find another company they decide that they, they're able to come out we already left now so i'm like we ain't coming back out there um and babe wasn't going to the studio because usually if it's like evening things or like after the girls eat jeremy does more of that stuff because by that point i'm done completely and y'all already know we're sharing a car so jeremy does like later stuff at the house that needs to be done um and i or weekend stuff that needs to be done because for the most for the most part he's been doing everything because it's been on the weekends whereas me i'm doing like if it's through the weekday which now stuff is coming up because stuff is being delivered blah 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 i'm doing weekday stuff because um i have errands to run i have things i have to do and you know i'm not gonna somebody suggested in the vlog last night was like you should have ubered to your uh your appointment and jeremy should have went for the bathtub uh no ma'am i'm not ubering anywhere when i have a perfectly functioning vehicle like no like why would i be ubering and plus i don't vlog everything y'all so y'all didn't see or not nor did i tell you guys other stuff that i had to do i had other stuff that i had to do um so i had ran like five errands so the, i mean i had to run five at that point i hadn't ran them yet of course it was early in the morning but i had five errands to run so i was like no there was there was i'm not gonna ride an uber all and it was like all different parts of like town so no so anyways back to what i was saying so back to the tree thing so we, I find a tree company. He says that he was he can come. And I was like, well, since you don't have to get in the house, like, can you still just come and you know look or whatever? So he agrees, comes, and he he tells us right off the bat it was gonna be thirty seven hundred to remove the tree. I'm like, okay, that sounds you know pretty pricey, but you know let me just see. And he was like, he can come this weekend, blah blah blah. So I was like, well, let me just wait till the other people come and tell me um, their quote when they email us who originally came yo i was like what he he emailed back and was like the total was twenty one thousand dollars and he included the tree removal which he said he couldn't do but he included the tree removal of course y'all know we're getting the gate and some stuff that we're gonna do in the front yard and you know so the total was twenty one thousand dollars i was like this don't sound right because i had just talked to see before Jeremy had been the main person talking to the previous owners because like I said Jeremy had been the one at the house Jeremy was the one doing everything but now that I finally started like going and doing stuff I'm like well I need to be able to you know access them too because I keep like asking Jeremy certain stuff so I got the um I was talking to him over the weekend and he told me that um um, the one of our neighbors because they don't have a gate obviously so he I said well do you know approximately how much did y'all ever get a quote for a gate blah 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 and he said well let me ask one of the other neighbors who has one who I'm cool with because they were really cool with like almost everybody and they gave the quote of three thousand so I looked at the twenty one thousand dollar bill and it was breaking down like what everything was going towards and the gate that he was quoting us at six thousand I was like six thousand this this not this not adding up 
and I know the, the neighbor's backyard is probably a little bit bigger than ours. So I'm like, mm, no, that don't sound right. So anyways, my auntie, she um ended up calling me and she um just got her, her backyard. Y'all remember, I don't know if y'all remember some months ago when I was at my auntie's house. Um, cause they had bought a home. So she had um sent me her guy and he's gonna come on Monday. But I'm gonna try to figure out how we're gonna do it because I, I'm supposed to be doing something on Monday. And yeah, so, well he told us it was gonna definitely be cheaper than the 21,000. He was like, what? And he definitely said that the fence by itself was gonna be way cheaper than the 6,000. Because at first, like I told you guys, we were kind of like going to wait. Like that's not even our main thing to do right now. Even if we wait, a month because it's still january like we can wait to february or march to do that i do kind of want it to be fenced in sooner rather than later but i don't know i'm still trying to figure it out what y'all think i love hearing y'all's feedback since we're not technically going to be on the property i was okay it's not that big of a deal to have the fence up quite yet but then again i'm like i don't know i don't know i'm like well might as well just get it done since you know we're doing everything right now right so we'll just see i guess based off the quote we get on monday but we're gonna get several quotes of course because i'm not about to be playing with these people Twenty one thousand. that just sounds absolutely absurd and yeah so that was okay that. guys so y'all haven't seen the house in a while ain't nothing new <laughs> it really ain't nothing new going on y'all still see this confetti and all of its glory why is that because we're getting new floors so ain't nobody about to be cleaning up all this confetti uh, we're paying someone to get it all up themselves but the good news is wi-fi is here i meant to bring my freaking laptop but i'll bring it tomorrow um and test out the upload speed um when we were living at the other house when we were renting it we did end up having to buy like those little hub things to like make sure the wi-fi was like working at full speed all throughout the house because it's a bigger house so um we didn't need it once we went back to apartment living um thank you for the orders by the way but we didn't need it once we went back to apartment living so um what i was about to say we didn't need it well oh yeah but now we're definitely going to need it again so we went ahead and got the fastest speed and we're going to see because sometimes when we move it like when we moved up after the house like it was not as fast as it said it was supposed to be make sure the door locked before I... the xfinity guy was like so nice to me <laughs> but anyways like it was not as fast and then when we moved again um like where we are now it is decent but anyways what i want to say so oh yeah yeah so i wanted to ask y'all's opinion which i think the answer is about to be now this way okay can y'all even see so i was i've been y'all have been sending some like ideas and someone sent this idea and was like oh keisha it'd be cheaper instead of replacing the floor in this area right here because y'all know this floor is completely different they were like i could paint it and then they showed like this little they sent a reel of someone who painted it and um and yeah they painted it white and then did like diy stuff now i won't be doing no diy stuff to the floor because i know my jacket on up but i don't know oh let me get this nail up this is it's dangerous to be having nails and stuff um but yeah so we will be back here um once the renovations and stuff start we'll be back here anyways to take pictures and do before and afters to start the TikToks and all the Instagram TV videos because I will be doing a renovation series. So stay tuned for that and that will be, and I kind of like the fact that all this chaos is going on in this house because it's just, it's just gonna make for a better before and after. Like when you see it looking crazy and then y'all know this confetti came from when we bought the house. But I know some people are wondering like, why is the confetti still there? Because when you own something, you can do whatever you want to do. So, and then no one's living here right now. So another question I have for you guys, it's just so warm and toasty in here. I keep the heat running just so every time I come here, it can feel good. So the girls' bathroom, the girls' room, um, have all, like, it's completely taken care of. I think I gotta order, like, one little miscellaneous thing um, for the girls' bathroom, or maybe their mirrors or something. But, and then this bathroom I took care of this morning. So, toilet is ordered, bathtub is ordered, 
this the um hey y'all see hold on I'm trying to make sure it focus this is gonna look for like this is gonna be like a bomb before and after like y'all see like all this other stuff like this so dated it's gonna look so fucking good when y'all see the bathtub so this bathroom is actually gonna have like a little half shower door. It's so nice and so modern. So y'all are gonna love it when y'all see it. But yes, I got the new toilet. But this actual um, vanity is gonna still be here. I kind of think I wanna take this out. I don't like this color. I prefer the white. Or should I just change the faucet head? Mm, Cause the floor is gonna be changed. Mm, I can't think. I'll talk to the contractor to see what he says. If we can. But I think I'm going to just change the sink. If it was a white sink, then I wouldn't have really cared. But I don't know. But what do you guys think? Should I? Because the, the door that's going to go in the shower has like. Maybe I put it across the screen. It's going to have um, black accent on it. But the girl's vanity, y'all remember I showed y'all the girl's vanity, is going to be gray. It's a modern vanity that's gray. So their vanity is the only vanity in the bathroom, I mean in the whole house, that's actually coming completely out. This vanity right here is coming completely out. And another one is replacing it, the modern one. Our vanity is only getting upgraded. Um, let me show y'all real quick just in case. Our vanity is getting upgraded. Oh, y'all, this is a big house. So this vanity is getting upgraded. For sure, this is coming off. For sure, for sure. And then they are repurposing the bottom part with new doors and all that good stuff. But the actual, or not maybe new doors. I don't know what, what he said. But they're, I already showed him what it's supposed to look like. So the after is going to match what the before. What I mean, the after is going to match what... You know those pictures, what I asked for versus what I got. Yeah, so it's going to match that to the T. Um, and then we are going to get the standing tub now. So, yay. I'm so excited. And I'm still trying to figure out, which I probably got to ask him. Since we are going to do the standing tub, I wonder if we have to keep the shower or how that's going to work. Well, I don't know. And let me see what this shower head looks like in here just got there I already have like the shower head that I want to get like it's so freaking gorgeous so I should have brought my phone up here to take another picture of the shower head but I think I know what I'm doing but um yeah so with that being okay so our bathroom is going to be black and white modern with of course the brown shelving accents to make it the modern farmhouse because that's the theme of the whole entire upgrade is modern farmhouse um um, because their thing had like the little baskets inside and all the other good stuff as you guys saw still got to find a great what what do y'all think should go right here i don't want it to be at first like back in the day i wanted it to be like glam but it's not going to go with the theme of the home so i'll probably do like a, a vote is that a basketball in, in the light surely is Did somebody like throw a basketball in there but yeah so since our bathroom is going to be the black their the girls bathroom is going to have the gray i'm like because this doesn't even look like it needs to be repainted maybe the this can be changed but the actual like vanity looks decent but i don't know if i want two gray bathrooms and the only other color that will make sense will be black because of the shower door i don't want white what do you guys think should we just leave it gray i mean i guess it's not that big of a deal but what do you guys think let, let me know what you guys think so all this stuff for this bathroom should be in soon the girls bathroom i think no a few more things have to come in the whole vanity and the toilet no everything pretty much still has to come in um but yes, yeah, so I'm so excited that um, everything is coming in and I'm just the Xfinity guy is still here. What's he doing? <laughs> That's weird. So, um, yeah, so the doors, he is 
going over the doors i already sent him the, the doors i originally was going to order from wayfair and he said he has someone who can custom the doors so i'm like so excited i don't even know what color i want to paint the house so you guys give a good you know what do you guys think just do white because like i said the theme all the rooms need to flow everything needs to just you know seamlessly mesh together so um yeah, that's just, I guess that's all we have for today. So, like I said, we'll, I'll be in here next week and I'll come do like a content day here because I got to do like every, every single room will have its own before and after, but I will be coming in vlogging the process as well. But some people are going to want to just go to one, I mean, I'm going to do a full after after it's all done but that's going to be a while so um because especially since we have the basement and all the other stuff and then plus i don't know if i want to i mean i guess we can do an unfurnished after and then do a furnished after because it's going to be a while before this place is fully furnished like y'all already know how that goes like i still have so many ideas and you already know and then we got to still wait for stuff to get here and some people are like well still start ordering stuff now no because it's already so much stuff we have to order just to so i don't even want anything here until we already have that bed that um, i told you it's for the guest room so that'd be too much but yeah so like i said pretty much we are going to do like a before and after of each room um and then i want to do like really y'all know how like people been throwing like the, like how Jeannie ma did like the throw the bomb into the baby's room and then once it was complete she showed the nursery so stuff like that fun stuff like that and like videos and then i know people are going to want to know where because when i watch people's videos i'll be like damn i wish they would have said where they got that from i really want to be as detailed and i really want to make this a good series um for you guys so and then for also people who follow me on my instagram who don't follow me on my youtube and just for people in general who just are interested strictly on home renovation like how hey guys, I so this is gonna be the last clip for today and then i'll see y'all tomorrow but i'm talking to my well i'm just now getting back to my phone because it's taking me days to um <laughs> respond back to people's messages dms and everything like because i'm just always busy nonetheless anyways i got back to my messages because i'm about to go live in a second I was spending time with the girls and um, my, so remember how I told y'all the quote, the $21,000 quote? Y'all probably gonna be like, no, that's probably not even a quote. Yes, y'all, that was the quote. I asked the previous owner, I said, how much did they quote you by chance for the grass? You know, the grass that you said that we have to get. Y'all tell me why it's $1,500. So, hey, Journey Bean. Book. What about the book? What's in this book? Mommy. This mommy. Hi. What's this? Look. Hi. What's this? Don't pull nothing else out. What's this? Mommy. And what's this? Sun. Okay, so it's the sun. And what's this? Rain. Rain. And what's this? No, I'm Yeah, it's just Jaya and George. What's this? My, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she won't be in the phone. But yes, so she told me exactly how to get to the place. So I'll go check it out next week. I have a busy week. Cause like I told you guys, like, and I like being busy. Like this is good busy. Um, ripping and running up and down the streets, y'all. It's tiring, ripping and running. But I like this cause I really wanna, you know. No, that's my accountant, baby. By the way, the Valentine's Day sale is going on for um, Black Friday. I brought all my inventory up here because I yeah, just, I like I said, I've been so busy. I don't even really have energy to be walking back and forth to the office space. Um, I was supposed to be clearing, well, we did clear out most of the stuff out of my office, but when it was time to mommy, pay the rent the for February, the mommy, office was, mommy. That's mommy? No, it's not mommy. Mommy is black. She's not black. You know that? Mommy is pink. No, I'm not pink. Mommy is that? Look, snow. Can you see that snow? Yeah. Mommy is a black woman. You are a black woman too. No. You're, yeah. You're brown. Well, ah. I told you about your skin being brown, but you're, you're actual. Now y'all hear Jaya because she hear Jaya. Shh. Be quiet. Come up. 
Say night night. Come here. Okay, go back with your daddy. But um, uh, uh, leave that alone. Uh, 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 don't play. Um, yes. So tomorrow I will be texting the realtor all day long, finalizing pictures. So what I was thinking I wanted to do was go to like Staples or something and get some because y'all already know I'm extra. Um, get some pictures blown up. <laughs> of what the final look of each space is supposed to look like, like so they can like have a guide per room i just thought that would be like helpful so they won't forget of course they can have like their picture reference that i'm emailing and he'd probably like email it to everybody on the team and be like oh this is what she wants blah 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 but i was just thinking like i could just tape a picture per room and show like this is the design and then like have a breakdown like of what because again i don't know i mean they're professional so i'm pretty sure they're gonna be able to figure it out but um i just don't want any errors no mistakes no anything so i'm like i can just type out everything per room like oh in this room you know the bathtub is supposed to be gone shower door is added in this room because you know we have a shower door for one bathroom no shower door for the other bathroom what do they get confused you know so maybe we could just you know just but I just thought that would be helpful. Um, I'm going to ask him if he would like that. But then I may just do it anyway just because. Um, and yeah, I know some people are like, oh, get an interior designer. I'm my own interior designer. I am <laughs> doing it. <laughs> Plus, especially coming out of our pocket, we bought the house and going straight into renovations. Like, it will be a different story if we kind of like waited to go into renovations. But we didn't. And yeah, it's definitely pricey. Like I said, I will go into, I will go into detail, and then we're like paying mortgage, like mortgage rent, all the bills, life, just you know everything. So I will, like I told y'all, I will go into detail about the cost of certain things and all that other good stuff, so that you guys can know. But I just figure I may just do, um, someone to help decorate or yeah i just crossed that bridge when i get there anyways y'all if y'all catch the live then i love y'all if you didn't catch the live then go back and watch it and if you're watching this right now like i said the credit ebook is out if you're trying to repair your credit it's only 39.99 so you don't have to watch the webinar you can just buy the um, credit and it just tells you everything you need to do and also the valentine's day sale like i said is in full effect so i will see you guys tomorrow bye